we are heading up to Chiang Mai, where a mother is blaming pot for her child's illness. Let's get to the bottom of this one. So uh, Kun Arpapan, a Thai woman in Chiang Mai, has taken to social media seeking justice after claiming that cannabis smoke from her foreign neighbors caused her four-year-old son to become ill. On October 31st, she reported dizziness and headaches for both her son and herself, which escalated to her son vomiting and losing consciousness, leading to hospitalization. The doctor reportedly attributed the boy's condition to cannabis smoke. Arpapan's complaints to the condo caretakers and the police were met with no legal action due to the new Cannabis Act, and despite the neighbors being ordered to leave. The Chinese owner of the rented room took no action. Our Papan is now looking to su for support from the Chiang Mai Provincial Justice Office as the law states that cannabis smoke is a public nuisance that can result in fines or imprisonment. Look, okay, so uh, th this is an, like, cannabis smoke is uh, uh, kind of, uh, cannabis in general is the, the social, uh, the social issue that seems to really be driving a lot of the political discussion here in Thailand and uh, parents and concern for the safety of their children is going to be at the forefront of that uh, that discussion. So, uh, yeah, of course, uh, smoking indoors, smoking n in inside anywhere is definitely not okay anymore. We don't allow cigarette smokers inside. So if it is seeping into neighbors' apartments, that is a nuisance, uh, and that's not okay. However, at the same time, uh, if we're talking about, uh, uh, you know, bad things to inhale, uh, definitely we have issues of pollution here. There's issues, especially in the north, in Chiang Mai, where this happened. Uh, there's, there's all sorts of wildfires and things like that. There's other things to be concerned about, too. I don't think that the cannabis is going to be causing that much of an issue. Now, uh, this doctor uh, allegedly says that this is what causes the boy's illness. However, um, you know, uh, <laughs> maybe a second opinion is in order there.